Welcome back. It's now time for uh, your uh, lunchtime sports. Uh, Jeff F. General Secretary Dennis Strong says overcoming debt is among the major object objectives uh, for the Federation in 2023. Debt continues to be a major hurdle for the local governing body, but Chung says for 2023, there is a push uh, to generate their own revenue. FIFA is expected to increase its monthly disbursement for member countries following the World Cup in Qatar, but that will not be the only source of revenue for the JFF. Uh, the kits and everything in about January to early February, and also the way the contract is written, um, it does provide us with a lot of revenue potential, particularly if we get to like the World Cup, um, you know, qualify for the World Cup, and as we move through the stages. Incorporating branded Jamaica will now form part of the JFF's strategy as well. From sales, we get about 20% um, of all JFF branded um, sales worldwide, you know, with Adidas. So putting in, in place measures for that. And of course, we have some people who are coming in as sponsors because, you know, it would have been a slow year to pick up this year. There has been a lot of changes in terms of the image the JFF, the public perception, which is good. Um, there are a lot of people now saying, you know, hey, we want to come on, especially with the girls going to the World Cup. Chung, who replaced the Dalton Wind as a general secretary, well, he replaced the Dalton Wind as general secretary and was speaking on a TVJ's uh, morning program, Smile Jamaica, on Thursday. Now, Jamaica's Stefani Taylor is set to return from injury for the West Indies Women's T20 International Tri-Series against South Africa and India in London, set for January 19 to 30. Taylor has been named in a 16-member squad for the series, which forms part of their final preparation for the ICC Women's T20 World Cup in February. Taylor missed the recent series against England, which saw the Caribbean women being whitewashed in both the T20 and ODI series. Mid-order batter Brittany Cooper, who last played against South Africa in September 2021, also makes a return. Pace bowlers Shamila Connell and Shakira Selman are also set to return from injuries. The West Indies women will play at least four matches, playing two matches each against hosts South Africa and India. The two leading teams will then play each other in the Tri-Series Final at Buffalo Park on February 2. The West Indies women also play a warm-up match against South Africa ahead of the Tri-Series at Beacon Bay on January 16. The squad to be captained by Haley Matthews also includes other Jamaicans in Shedin Nation, Chanel Henry and Rashada Williams. Now, the first test between New Zealand and Pakistan ended in a draw uh, following an exciting uh, fifth and final day in Karachi. Resuming on 77 for 2, Pakistan posted 311 for 8 declared in their second innings. Imam ul -Haq carried on to 95 from his overnight 45. Saud Khalil then contributed 55, while Mohamed Wazim reached 43 uh, when uh, Captain Babar Azam declared with 15 overs remaining in the day. Ish Sodi took 6 for 82 for the Kiwis. Now set 138 for victory, New Zealand quickly lost opener Michael Bracewell at 4 for 1. Tom Latham with 35 not out and Devon Conway, 18, then steadied the ship for the Kiwis as they hunted a famous victory. They reached a 61 for 1 when, when the umpires stopped the match for, uh, for bad light before eventually calling an end to the day's play and the match. Scores again, Pakistan 438 and 311 for 8 declared. New Zealand 612 for 9 declared and 61 for 1. And that is Stumps for now. And I am Jeremy Brown. Shane, back to you. Thanks, Jeremy. And that's the midday news. I'm Shane Masters. Join us at 7 for primetime news on behalf of the news sports and production teams. Have a good afternoon.